Welcome back heroes to some more Pokemon Bazaar. Last episode we explored Queen City, we helped Death kill Red, literally went to Mount Silver and kicked Red off the mountain and we killed him. <laughs> we got a chat out for it though so I think it was worth it. We then went to the museum and we saw the gym leader, got permission to go to Straight City but we also um, had to battle Missile, um, the robot AI from the ACP again and I don't know what her name is, but we saw like, um, I guess maybe the leader of the ACP. They stole the prison bottle and escaped, and we also saw our dad. And our dad was like, um, you know, underestimating us a little bit. But we should go and report what we saw to uh, the police station. Before we do that though, um, someone told us in the comments that if we go back to the Emerald Cave, which was, as the Emerald Desert, we have strength now. So we, is it not? Emerald Cave, okay, so it's here. So it's probably best to go from Green Day in, and we'll go and uh, see what we can find around here. Because this might be part of the side quest we need to do, or it you know, could be something completely different, I don't know. But it's worth to go check it out just in case. Try and do everything we can, because this game is just... All the side content is super fun. <laughs> also, our uh, Golbat evolved as well into Crobat, so in case you missed last episode, here is the Chaddot and the Crobat. So Crobat looking pretty awesome. And there's the chat which is so badass, man. So cool. Our team actually looking real nice. So let's go to Emerald Cave. We got the repel bracelet on, so getting through here should be fairly easy. Oh, you're here again. Um, guess you stay here. <laughs> uh, they got like knocked out by the the AI as well. Probably go see them in a little bit at the AC or at the uh, police station. So this is Emerald Desert. So the cave, you no, know, it was right around here, wasn't it? It was on the left side, I think I remember it now. Yeah, this one. So we should be able to push some boulders. Okay. Push a 3,000, bam. What do we got around here? Oh, muscular, this has got to be it. So a random guy just ran in and started busting everybody's chops. Yeah, this has got to be where explosive was. I, was I mentioned in the last episode that we're like, we needed it. If you look at these uh, achievement bits, we need to do this. So this has got to be it. This is not the one thing we're missing. We can go do this as well. Now we've got Rock Climb. So uh, let's go and pick up everything we can. Yeah, there he is. <laughs> so a guy friend destroyed my accordion. I didn't do anything, I swear. I'm a simple musician. I'm going to say I do not like the accordion. But get out of the way or I'll have to step on your neck. But who is this guy? For the children! Ah! Okay. What a... F He's just... What a threat to step on someone's neck. <laughs> okay then. <laughs> right, uh... Oh, they really give me a beating, but everything seems fine now. I can continue to enjoy some peace and quiet. Okay. So let's see what's gonna happen in here. Uh, it's more worked up from training, so I came to this room to chat with my friends. Uh, today it's legs, tomorrow it's head. Yes, I have to study tomorrow. <laughs> hey, hello! Oh, it's this song again. I'm wrestling for a while. We'd like to play a game of Poker Brisket. No, I'm good, I'm good. This just, this song. I think I have to mute it because I think it gets copyrighted, but it just sounds like someone's trying to like cough up like a hairball or something like, Ugh! Uh, Heliolisk, let's go into, ooh. Mm, I think some flora should be fine. He ain't gonna really do too much to me. Let's go Leech Seed. And then we start spamming the Giga Drain. We can get so much HP back. Keep that sweet, sweet HP. Thank you. Keep it going. More Giga Drains. Nice. And there you go. You see, I'm sure I'm full HP. <laughs> oh, wait, what was this? Oh, wait, uh, we got to learn. Yes, I want to learn this. So, uh, it's a new move. Oh, torpedo. Uh, let's get a bubble beam. Wait, launch is a watery torpedo that causes both Pokemon to change. Um, I get a faint attack. Uh, do I want to? Uh, don't know if I want to get both Pokemon changing. Uh, yo, I fight everyone in here, but dude, your access is denied. Hey man, I don't care. What you can do? Stop me? Oh, Sid and Wooder looks sick. <laughs> oh, that's kind of cool. No idea what type you are. I'm going to assume maybe rock fighting? Definitely weak to water still. Uh, Roost, no, I'm good. 
So that's probably the way to go. So let's go up this way. Uh, yo. Hey, hey, haven't seen you here before. Yeah, I just joined. How's it going? Oh, yeah, we will... Open torpedo. And then we'll switch. We can get, like, something with, um... You know, rocks and stuff. That'd be kind of cool. But at the same time... Uh... I don't even know what to go for here. I think Comet Punch should be fine. Because no, I guess we are pop flying. This is bad. No, oh, I'm gonna go U-turn. I didn't mean to click Comet Punch again. Oh, I got the flinch. That's that's lucky. That is so lucky. <laughs> oh, that was so lucky. I meant to go U-turn. Oh, yeah, King's Rock is just saving the day a lot. Oh, I need to take off um, the Super Bell on Crobat because we don't have that one anymore. All right. Uh, yeah, let's stay in, just acrobatics, finish you off. Alright, let's take this off before I forget. Don't need this on no more. Take this off, move. Okay, anything in the trash? Hey, fist plate! Well, fight, I've been fooled, there is no swimming pool here. Guess I don't need this anymore. Ooh, a multi purpose Paris. Oh, okay. Why was I bringing an umbrella to the pool? So I don't get wet. <laughs> He's asleep. Summer is approaching and my belly is far from flat. I like muscle mass, it's time for some training. I split my shirt with my biceps. Three more sit-ups and I'm ready to go. <laughs> all right, let's go and uh, see what the side quest is all about then. Oh, it looks like someone else dares to challenge my portly muscles. Oh. Oh, Nano! I'm gonna rip your intestines out. You, I need some of your power. So you're also from the uh, Nano side, huh? With that chest, you're not gonna get anywhere. You want to save Explosivo? Explosivo? You'll have to face me in a duel of uh, muscular power. Okay. Oh, I'm gonna. I think I have to maybe do something. Um, last time it was the button pressure. So I need to maybe hold the keyboard. But uh, all right. Let the that be the what? 37th muscle village push-up tournament begin. The first to reach 70 push-ups will be the winner of the contest. From a push-up, you must press the Enter key to go down and then back up. Push-up will be counted when the particip participant has gone all the way down and all the way up. Uh, I'm always ready. Come on, dude, show your, um, where's the end there is. Uh, show your power. May the power of the temple be with you. Then, three, two, one, go. Wait. Is it space bar then? Oh, enter also works, I guess. So. The space bar also works. I hit both at the same time like this. One after the other, go faster. Hey, I win. You won the duel. <laughs> no way. This weak chest beat me. Ah, this is how it's done. The power of nano goes down your guts. This is the end of you. I'm gonna take your life, dude. Uh, what are you gonna do? I'll destroy you. Is it Falcon Punch? Oh, I just actually killed him. From now on, this is nano territory. The new temple. Okay. <laughs> Without you, this would not have been possible. The nano community owes you a lot. Take this as a symbol of our friendship. Explosion! Okay, explosion, the insignia of explosive oil. Come on, it's time to train. <laughs> he was crushed death by a sonic dumbbell. Man, you're here if you're, you're forging those muscles well. Never leave your power behind. Okay. Well, this was uh, an interesting side quest. Explosive has totally blown me away. Now I must train to become as strong as him. Do you know everyone train to become as strong as me? I don't know I did the sit of the push-ups. But yeah, let's um, now go back to Queen City, go to the police station and we'll go and just report everything. <laughs> oh, this game is just, every time you, you think it can't get it can't get dumber, but it just, it's just so good. It's so good. All right, uh, I don't know where the breviary is in the, in the city, but I know there's one just outside, so I'm just gonna go to that one. Because I don't know where the main one is. All right, let's go over here to Queen City. So I think probably after this, we'll probably go like this way to Route 9, there's something to do here. Probably get to the Ice Puzzle Fang Club. Actually, no, no, that's gonna take us like over here. I don't know if we're gonna go to Mount Blues yet. 
So I think we probably want to go to King's Pond. We know there's like a, a, a side quest at King's Pond. And we know we need to go to the Beehive Bar to see Samira. So there's a lot to do. Right, anyway, let's go south. It's insane how well made this game is. Like, there's so much content. It's like, it's really good. Really good, man. Right, uh, where are we going? Aha! Well, now that we're all here, we can start. Voltsy, I've already been briefed about what you did. I really admire your bravery. It's not the first time you've put yourself in a bind for us like this. I don't like them taking such risks. It is what one should expect from my apprentice. The best of the best. Five star quality. Look, I don't recall anyone inviting you to this meeting. The most important Interpol agent should always be well informed. Anyway, so they stole the prison bottle? Why would they do such a thing? They may want to uh, pry it open. I hope not. I don't understand how that bottle could be uh, used in ACP technology. I think we're going to have to investigate further. Indiana? Trudy? Kids? Thank you very much for your help. You did what you could. Interpoc is very grateful. <laughs> You're welcome, man. Is there any anything else we can do? No? Interpoc is currently handling it. If something important comes up, we'll let you know. Alright, I trust we can get the bottle back. Anyway, then. How about meeting us in Straight City? I'm looking forward to a great fight. Maybe. Not even have to get serious. <laughs> Don't get your hopes up. I'm more than ready to kick your ass. <laughs> Alright, uh, well. I'll go too if you don't mind. I can't let Volta get ahead of me. Be careful, Joshua. Yeah, I need to be careful. Okay, and now what? Okay, Volta, I think you should follow Joshua. Even I'm a little scared of you going out there alone. But well, uh, that's just your old man being protective, isn't it? I think you have a lot of potential, and your father wholeheartedly believes in you. Okay. By the way, Latusi, as for the girl who appeared in the museum, don't worry, I think I know who it might be. I think we can take care of it. Alright, then I won't worry about it anymore. I'm going back to Temptation Town now, I can't afford to waste that much time. Uh, the gym is not going to battle for itself. Alright, come on Latus, stop being lazy. We have research to do. Uh, what do you mean, lazy? Who, look who's talking. Excuses, excuses. <laughs> Alright, uh, so, I guess we're done with this city now because we can't go east. So we look at the map. Uh, Straight City, where is Straight City? Is that over here? Yeah, so this, now we've got to make our way all the way up here. So we'll go back and we'll go to Route 9. And we'll get to this Feng's house and see what that's about. Lots to do, man, lots to do. Alright, City Plaza, go west from here. And then we're out. I'm just, I'm actually really happy with the side quest content in this game as well. It's done really well. Like, sometimes there's too much side quest content in games, and then sometimes there's not enough. And I feel, I feel like this is just like the, the right amount. At the moment, anyway. It might change, but at the moment, I'm like, I'm liking all the side quest content. It's just, oh, that's great. We've got a metronome. Okay. So this is Feng's house. Oh, uh, hey, wait. Up here lives a very dangerous man. They said that. Everyone uh, who comes back from being with him ends up crazy. I warned you, for the record. Okay. Let's go turn crazy. Danger. Danger. <laughs> Can't be that dangerous, surely. Where's a nice house up here? I wouldn't mind living here. No one here. Okay. Uh. Ah. Oh, hello. My name is Feng. Nice to meet you. I am known as the greatest historian of Quintellus. I have collected information about all the events in the history of Quintellus. Many stories. Would you like to hear them? Sure. I can see in your face that you are eager to hear them. Come. Come closer. Alright. Well, it all started with what I like to call... The event. It was quite a day when I was scratching my belly at home. In my old house, of course. It was a beautiful day. Well, come to think of it. I don't think it was a good day. It was more like a, a bad day. It was cloudy, the sky was a darker grey than some people's past, and it was uh, raining torrentially without stopping. So there I was on my couch. I was watching a show about forging materials. Next to me was my wife. May she rest in peace. Drinking some hot coffee. We could see how a, a burly man hammered the medals with, a, with care and power. Um, what a great body that man had. Oh, my wife, may she rest in peace, kept mentioning to me that I should start exercising and get as get strong as he was. <laughs> Not that my 45 minutes of weekly exercise wasn't enough, 
that were uh, based on 10 planks, 10 sit-ups and 10 squats. Afterwards, I, I would have a, a beer at the bar next to my house. What memories that bar brings back? Once I went with my wife, may she rest in peace, for a drink, I ordered my classic beer and she ordered tea. And something terrible happened. Forgive me for saying this. They were out of beer. My wife, may she rest in peace, tried to calm me down. But ugh, I was already very sad, you know? I finally decided to order a hot chocolate. The truth is that it was very good chocolate. I could see that the machine had done it with care. I slowly stirred the chocolate in a clockwise direction. My wife, God rest her soul, and I could not believe what we were seeing. The fluidity of the chocolate was perfect. Its density was worthy of the best chocolate I'd had in my, in my life. And believe me, I remember very well all the chocolate I had throughout my life. I drank the chocolate and it, we went home quietly. <laughs> These stories fill me with adrenaline. Uh, where were we? Ah uh, yes, the day of the event. Well, I was with my wife, God rest her soul, sitting on the couch. She drank coffee. What was it chocolate? <laughs> what, is, what is clear is that it was a machine. <laughs> a very good machine indeed. I bought it one day when I went to an appliance store in the Coconut Center in uh, Bangor City. That store. It's huge. I got lost a few times around the mall. I don't even know how I ended up in some kind of gym. There was a lot of ex people exercising and stuff. Although in my opinion, his exercises were not up to the level of my 45 minute sessions. There were a couple of girls who, forgive me for saying this, had great bodies. Not like my wife's, God rest her soul. All day long, she would drink chocolate and then go ballistic. Or were they coffee? Well, the thing is, I went to the appliance store and I was looking for a good coffee maker. So I asked one of the store employees. He told me something quite strange. His look showed distrust and uncertainty. He shyly took a slight step back and asked me, Sir, why, are you, why aren't you wearing a shirt? To which I replied, Well, because it's hot. I don't know in what other context you can go shirtless, honestly. This is how the store manager helped me find the coffee maker I was looking for. It was quite expensive. I had to pay about 5,000 polka dollars for it. Don't know how much my wife, I don't know how much my wife, God rest her soul, and I think we drink. I didn't tell you, did I? I was a potter. Truth is that I really enjoyed my work, but my wife, may she rest in peace, did not appreciate it. <laughs> she only knew how to appreciate the works of our neighbor Morris. I don't know what she saw in that uh, guy, but he was just an astronaut. A rather boring profession. What can I say? <laughs> Being in a metal device for months without doing anything cannot be compared to the art of pottery. Besides, for the work of, of an astronaut, we already had the fur flowers they sent to space. For me at least, I don't get my work taken away by a dog. Besides, Morris's wife was wonderful. She was the one of those women, you know. I don't know what a big woman saw in a man like him. Remember well that day we were invited to eat at their house. Morris had prepared potato salad. I don't like potato salad. I'm more of a mashed potato guy. Yeah, I'm a mashed potato guy. Well, I'm a mashed potato guy as well. Well, roast potatoes are quite good, but you know what I mean? His wife prepared some delicious desserts. My wife, may she rest in peace, could learn to pre prepare desserts like these. There were some kind of almond filled pastries. They were delicious. I remember every bite perfectly. That cake, the first time it entered my mouth was an explosion of flavor. I could feel the crunch of the sugar coating and how the almond cream ran across my taste buds. A real delicacy. And believe me, I'm not much of a candy person. For example, I don't like chocolate. But you drink the hot chocolate? But after we finished eating, Morris prepared cocktails to end the meal. The worst cocktail I ever had in my life, if I'm being honest. The experience was a terrible as that time my rocking chair broke down. I was sitting quietly in my chair when all of a sudden, it stopped moving. You won't believe it. But there was a rock stuck in the chair. Quite a dilemma, isn't it? In the end, I removed the stone and everything was solved. The problem was that I didn't know what to do with the stone. So I threw it at Morris. They had to take him to the hospital. It was a great day indeed. Well, where was I going? Ah, uh, yes, the event. Well then, my wife, God rest her soul, and I were watching TV. And suddenly, Morris walked through the door. Without calling or anything, can you believe it? Even my wife, may she rest in peace, had, had some manners. Uh, he told us that the city had to be evacuated quickly. I don't understand, I didn't understand anything he was saying. My wife, may she rest in peace, ran out of the house in a panic. I was about to leave just because uh, that Morris told me to, so I stayed and watched my metal forging program. Turned out that in the end, I was the only one who stayed in the town and the police had to come and kick me out. That day, I never saw my wife again. May she rest in peace. Well, that's the story. I missed a bit of enthusiasm on your part. If you want to hear more about the history of Quintellus, I'll be here. Um, hey, wait. I can see in your face that you were, you were left wanting more. Come, come, I have more stories to tell. Oh, no. Well, let's see. Remember one time I had to go to the hairdresser? At that time, I had hair. Can you believe it? Well, more hair than now. 
Technically, I still have hair. I went to a hairdresser's <laughs> near my house. It was called the Shiro. Okay. Oh, no. It had another name, I think. His name was Fancy Hair. So I left the house to go to the hairdresser. I was very happy. It's not every day you go to the salon. On my way to the store, I realized one thing. Oh my god, I had, untie, I had an untie shoe. I was so embarrassed. I slowly bent down to tie my shoe as my teacher, Carmen, may she rest in peace, had taught me in school. A cord underneath, then the bow. You know what I'm talking about, don't you? The classic knot of a lifetime. I could have also made a sailor's knot, to be honest. I learned that one, I learned that one when I was in the Navy. My days in the Navy were few, but very intense. I still remember when it was my turn to scrub. The hardest part was scrubbing the, the, let's just say I can't remember the name. What was it? The deck. It was turn it was my turn to scrub the deck. That was the word. The ship was lurching on one side for another. On one side for another. It was like being in an amusement park. How long is this guy gonna speak for him? The problem is that the mop bucket kept slipping back and forth. Like a pendulum, you know? And of course it was my turn to chase the bucket around the deck. Uh, what things, right? Like when I used to chase the torchic from my father-in-law's farm. Oh, how those guys ran. My wife, may she rest in peace, was shouting in the distance for me to hurry up and collect all the torchic. I couldn't run anymore. My 45 minute weekly training didn't specialize in gaining endurance, but muscle, you know? And of course my father-in-law, may he rest in peace, ran like a uh, rheumatic snail. It's just that the uh, cane he was carrying slowed him down quite a bit, to be honest. However, did you, uh, do you know th uh, what the real dilemma was? The moment I had to grab the torchic, they were very elusive. They also burned you when you try to grab them. That's how my hair got burnt. Damn Torchic. Since then I've always had a thing for fire Pokemon. Damn fire trainers. All day long with the Charizard and stuff. They have no taste. That's why I went to get a haircut. I went to the hairdresser's and... I got scared. When I opened the door it started to ring. Ding 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 ding! It was the thing they had on top of the door. After that impromptu scare I continued walking towards the hairdresser. A uh, very kind man indeed. Can't imagine how he cut. He was an axe. Figuratively speaking. What a mastery of cutting. A true hair artist. I could feel the scissors that pass close to my ears and tickle. It was a good afternoon. The problem came when we got home. Oh, how my wife, God rest her soul. Turns out she didn't like my mohawk. Uh, who doesn't like a mohawk hairdo? It's great. In the end, my wife, may she rest in peace, shaved my head. For all the effort that the hairdresser had made, it was a tragic end to my hairstyle. Well, that's it. I don't think I have any more stories to tell. I hope you liked them. Okay. How did you get down here? Man, it's been a long time. Come, come, sit here with me. This bench brings back a lot of memories. Many years ago, after I got off, oh no. <laughs> after I got off work, I would always sit on a nearby park bench to feed the padoves. Those padoves. They were obese. I think it was my fault. I don't know if feeding them stew was the best idea. They looked so happy. Minus one of them. Damn it. Pidoveto. Now that's what I called it. He fought with the rest, ate the stew and left. One day I went out to chase him with my hammer. I hit him so hard in the head that he was totally knocked out. I killed that bug. And I couldn't have, I couldn't leave the body lying around, so I had to hide it. I put it in a bag and snuck into Mr. Morris's garden. If anyone from Pokemon Rights was gonna gonna come, it had to be his house. Besides, this way I could get rid of that Morris guy for good. I buried Pid Pidvito in his garden, but he was never found. The scent of the lilies he tended in his garden disguised the smell of Pid Pidvito. Damn Morris, you knew everything. I managed to hide the corpse forever. He was too smart, and he didn't even know what was going on, but he really had it all under control. What good times we had together, isn't it? Though I would appreciate a little more enthusiasm on your part, but appreciate you being there to hear me out. Take this as a thank you. Got room service. Okay. Hope you'll stop by my house sometime. See you. Okay, so. That's the quest done. Uh. Reduces the speed when using trick room. Do I dare speak to him again? I'm gonna save it just in case he goes on with another long story and I can just, <laughs> just leave. Um, man, how about that? Here I am enjoying life. Oh, how peaceful it, it is without my wife. May she rest in peace. You like a coffee? Oh, thank you. Or is it chocolate? <laughs> oh my God, that was like, felt like never ending. Whew. Have I gone a little bit crazy? A little bit. A little bit. But it was worth it. Right, so now I believe the next side quest we got to do is going to be the King of the Pond bit. Yeah, which is on the way. Before we get to uh, Straight City. Oh, no! 
<laughs> Hello, we meet again. I was smoking a little, now I'm going home. I'm gonna have some chocolate. Or better yet, a coffee. We good? I think we're good. Alright, maybe we'll never see him again now. Yeah, okay, I think, I think we're good. Let's, <laughs> let's go up north. Because that's the way I think we need to go to... Wait, are we going that way? We're going this way. This way. Oh, uh, lost my money trying to roll S ranks in the gacha. That's me right now. I need to um, put some money into Genshin as well. I, I pulled for Chiori. I won the 50-50. I got her. Sweet. But I lost the 50-50 on her weapon. Uh, and I need to... I was going to put some money in for the Maeve anyway. Because... There's no way I'm not getting her, I need to get her weapon, so I thought... Yeah, I'll put some money in for Chiori's weapon while I'm at it. Don't wail too much on Genshin. Or is it, is it really wailing? I, like, I don't go for C6, I literally just get the character and that's it. I don't care about C1 or whatever. Just want the character and their weapon once, don't care about maxing it all out. Uh, although, I think the only character I kind of want to get C1 is probably Hu Tao. Just because Hu Tao C1, it, the, the stamina thing makes it really good. So that's probably the only... Uh, character I probably would ever see one. But hey, starting chapter six now. So stairway to heaven. Oh. Okay. Every time we get that new little chapter thing, it gets me so excited for the uh, Paper Mario Thousand Year Door remake. Oh man. Like I played on the channel, I think four years ago. I'm just very excited to uh, play it again. I throw super rods to all the babes passing by. Oh, predator, a river barracuda. Ooh, barracuda. Okay, what you got for us? Hop a toad. Uh, we'll have to switch because that ground type is kind of annoying. That's fine, we've got a giga drain. Get all that HP back, easy peasy. Nice. Ooh, no, water ground type, sweet. Like, I hate fighting water ground types, but when you got a, gr a grass type, it's like the best thing in the world. If they, if Pokemon ever makes a water ground Pokemon that just, like, grass moves don't work well on it, I'm gonna be so upset. Uh, we got a club here. Oh, this is the Ice Puzzle Fan Club. Oh yeah, so I don't think we're going this way yet. So, uh, let's just go and talk to him, see if anything happens, and then we'll, we'll go. Oh! Don't know what that is, but uh, this is the perfect place to rest. Sure, get healed up, why not? Alright, uh, yo. Travel all over the regions in search of the best ice puzzles. I'm the master in the art of frozen puzzles. Each one of them is a masterpiece, they're exciting. Feel the acceleration as you glide the top speed or I feel the adrenaline in me. Hey, would you like to make a trade with me? Uh, Passimian, okay for a... Nah, it's all good. I've got to ask as well, like, oh, I didn't want to fight. Oh, uh, no, okay, I've got to go to this fight. Um... Like, do people actually hate ice puzzles? Well, not just ice puzzles, like puzzles in general so much. Because I feel like every recent Pokemon game recently has just been getting less and less puzzles. And I thought puzzles were really fun in Pokemon games. But, yeah, guess not. Right, I'm gonna, uh, I'm just gonna put the doof right in the middle. And you'll take that. And I can... Ooh, uh, as much as I'm gonna try and get that, I think I'm gonna just... Mm. I'm gonna do this. That's a good spot, because I doubt you can take... Okay, I'll take it back. I'll take that. Alright, uh... Hmm. You're gonna probably go bottom left. I lose. Man! I wanted you to play a, a, in a certain bit and you didn't. Ah, oh, the close president. Az uh, Azuro is possibly the smartest person in the region. Only such a brilliant mind can afford to design such a nice puzzle. Oh, an item here. Max Revive, not bad, not bad. My teammates call me Titanic because I've already fractured seven ribs crashing the blocks of ice. Unlucky. All right, so yeah, we'll be coming probably back this way once we get the next gym badge. So let's make our way north. Ooh! The windmill spin actually looks really cool. That looks really cool. Uh, hi. 
Help, help, I'm about to be eaten by a giant, help. Uh, okay. <laughs> Where? I don't see no giant. Lion, dude. All right, let's go up this way. Um, so Commander 69, call on ground. Repeat, Command 69, call on ground. We have a target in sight. Okay. Well, that's easy. We'll just Volt Switch. Ooh, Brave Bird gonna not do much damage. Sick. I thought Brave Bird was gonna do a little bit more than that, but we good, we good. All right, so this should take us to the, wait, go house first. Then the right should take us to the pond, I think. Ooh, TM. Yeah, a lot of uh, free stuff around here. Free stuff is best stuff, man. Never know this stuff's gonna come in handy. All right, so this is, yeah, King's Pond. So we know we have a side quest around here. Uh, there's no like hidden item there. Debts of the sunken city inhabits the king of the river. Debts of blood and gold will open to anyone who follows the sun. Okay. We might need to come back here, but we might need like a certain item. All right, so we'll come back. Can't do the side quest just yet. But we know about it though, that's the good thing. Uh, hi. Target found, character Voltsy in view. Challenge the battle. Okay. Uh, show me some new Pokemon. I wanna find some stuff that I can just uh, maybe catch and use. I'm gonna say it as well, like, I, I like our starter, but I'm starting to wish I chose the fire one now. Like, it's alright. But. I think it's just like, like it's moveset at the moment too much. We'll see though, we'll see. Well, I might, might like it later on. Loving the Ledian though, the Ledian is just so sick. And cool. Okay, there we go. And one more to go. Spinda. Uh, we can stay, I guess. Oh, can we get for the confusion? Oh, we get for the confusion, but miss. Oh, dude, come on, stop missing! Please! Alright, it's gonna go accordion. You think that's an uproar? This is an uproar. Yeah, man! My uproar is so much better. And goodbye, Spinder. That's how you uproar, baby. Oh, got another little windmill house here. Oh, item. Big nugget! I gotta sell some stuff. Although, how much money do I have? These mills are old and were out of operation for quite some time. But not long ago, an architect named Elena came and restored them so they could start working again. Sweet. Good for Elena. Uh, yo. Faulty, right? I have you on the list. You're a future promise. Let's fight. Ooh, I'm a future promise, eh? Let's go. <laughs> it's like Blaine in like a, uh, like a, just a young tracksuit. Uh, let's just spot switch out. And we'll go into our chat up. So a lava plume and you ain't gonna stand a chance. Yeah, cross tight against my fire flying. No thank you, ain't gonna do nothing. Whew. This chill is so badass, dude. And we should probably switch. If this um can evolve as well. Sweet. By the moment, I think my team, I think the only ones that I'm probably gonna definitely 100 percent keep on the team. Is gonna be accordion because it's actually really good. Maybe Ledian as well. And I'll start up because I don't know what it is, but whenever I get like a starter, like a especially like a fakey one, I don't really ever want to replace it because it's just my starter one. I want to get a Gumi. I think that could be really good for the team. And uh, what should I go into? Let's go Ledian. Go for Fairy Fists. Don't die. But good, good Fairy Fists. Nice. This Ledian is such a badass. Such a badass. Okay, so we've made it to Straight City now. Oh, this is the Open Work Swamp. Okay. So we've got a little bit further to go in. Uh, I think I'll lead off with Crobat for a little bit because we can just acrobatics a lot of these. Probably Lydia's level 50 as well. Like, the level we are now, we've got four badges and we're like at the 50s. Well, you know, getting close to the 50s. I wonder if, like, by the time we get to the Elite Four champion, we'll be like 100. 
Uh, air slash, yeah, let's go about acrobatics. So, wait, can we climb up here? Ooh, nice. Uh, do I want to go down here? I want to explore like every nook and cranny first. Oh, is that, that looks like that guy's got an eye patch to the right. I'll come and speak to you in a second. Let's get the berries. Uh, hi. He's staring at that tree. Actually, can you even say he's staring? He's wearing an eye patch on both oh, on both eyes. Okay. <laughs> right. Uh. Oh. Yeah. Uh. Attack. Oh, it's the guy from the um. So where'd they go? It's the guy from the uh, the chapter screen. Yellow, try as I might, diligently as I might, I can't find anyone who's dumber than you around here. Koopa, you know that? Technically, he can't see anyone. <laughs> okay. Hey, Yellow, are you joining the fray or are you just gonna mess around? You'll see for yourself. What a nuisance, that fool is hopeless. Jose Juan Joe, it's time to say hello. Go on, buddy. Yeah, yeah. You see? I'm setting my style, I'm feeling like a brush, time is passing and I am screaming. It's no longer possible to live in this sad society. My spirit has acquired social enmity. Uh, there you go. There you go. Is this reality or is it integrity? Turtles rule our society. What? The is he wearing a turtle outfit? The, uh, the inconsistency of our business makes us anxious. A failure, an unsolvable business, a thousand of turtles that are really happening. Ah yes, it's time to start getting up. Time to start up a robbery. Set up a robbery. Is this reality or is it integrity? Money rules our society. All right, I'll go first. Come on, buddy, yeah, give me the money. Oh, yeah, am I getting robbed here? <laughs> okay. Um, just gonna air slash it then, I guess. I'm not sure what's going on. Another air slash. <laughs> this game is just. All right, got a cool. Uh, I guess we can just cause my index. He's he's weak, but. I'm gonna bubble beam in the rain up, probably should one shot ya. Nice! And then your last turtle is gonna be... Water Tool. I do love Water Tool. Thunder Fang. Nice. Hydro Pump. Oh, okay, you're gonna one shot me then, eh? Yeah, a lot. It's fine, we'll just go for a Giga Drain, finish you off, and you're gonna miss the Hydro Pump. Not that would've, I don't think the Hydro Pump would've killed us, but... I think we've done a little bit of damage just because of the, the rain. I a fight lost on behalf of my turtles. Now it's my turn. I don't like this. You better pay up now. Okay. Oh, you got a magic. Oh, I can see now. You got like a little mustache with a magic cup. Uh, this attack plus six. Okay. Uh, that's, I'm going to be honest, a little scary. Overdrive. Oh my god, I can't speed it. Oh no, I can. Oh, sorry, no, I, I can I can never attack. Oh man. Can't speed it, but ooh, it's kinda lucky. And Thunderbolt, yes. That is gonna be nice. Gonna get rid of Volt Switch. So in Volt Switch we got the water one to switch out. Uh oh well. Yellow, we need help. It's time! Oh, there he is. Ah! So you got, what, a knife? Two knives, maybe a bishop? Oh, pincer, okay. Uh, just uproar. Oh, missing the guillotine. Good. Missed the guillotine. Oh, you landed the guillotine this time. It's a pretty tough fight this is, actually, to be fair. Uh, air cutter. Oh my god, you, what, you landed two guillotines in a row? What is this luck? Dude! There's no way! I don't know if I'm gonna win this now. Uh, have I got like a normal revive? I don't wanna waste the max, but I think I've got normal revive. Uh, oh, what to go for? What do I. How? 
that's so four in a row. Oh, you're gonna have something that's gonna kill me, aren't you? I'm just gonna have to go for a Thunder Fang. Hope we can kill you and flinch nice. Come on, flinch, yes! Woo, that was lucky. Man, that guillotine, what's going on? I didn't see that one coming. I think we failed again. Hey, sorry about all this. We have a bar and we're not doing very well lately. If you wanna stop by, you just have to continue on this route. To the right. I hope we didn't bother you too much. Okay, why would I want to come to the bar if you try robbing me? Honestly, though. Uh, so let me check the map. Yeah, so the bar, okay, so we've got the rest of the, the swamp to check out. I just need to see if we can get healed up at this, like, the bar area, because, dude. I think, it, was Pins are getting very lucky, was like guillotine different in this game, and just, was it just that fight? Did it have like an item on it? I don't know. Like, four in a row is insane! You missed the first one, I thought, okay, yeah, this is gonna be easy, and then just four in a row? What is. Th Honestly! But can I get healed up here? The depths of the sunken city, inhabitants uh, of the king of the river, depths of blood and gold will open to anyone who follows the sun. Yeah, who's the sun? They say that Hick Cooper's from Sugar Hick Town. Her turtles are cool. So I've already lost to Yado again, and Poker Brisky is too good. Uh. Oh, I don't see anyone here. Feel like playing? No, I'm good. Alright. Uh, oh, you finally come? To be honest, I didn't expect it. Must be the work of the turtles. Don't have a drink, although Yellow's an idiot, blind and incompetent. He's a perfect cook. Uh, you can get a turtle? Sure. I feel like I should maybe fight this one guy just to see what happens. Might get something. So let me try and win. Oh, okay. Uh, let's do that. All right. Uh, we will go. I'm gonna start here. Mhm. Mm That's. Fine, and we will go... Take you. Right. I don't want to get in the corner bears. I think I'm going to lose this at the moment. I think if I go there, it's, it's not easy. Guess what I'll do this. Hope you don't go to the bottom left and take both. Okay. I can take that. I think I win. Oh, no. That sucks. It's hard to do. Anyway, uh, I think it's a very great place to end this part off. Next episode, we'll make our way uh, through the swamp and get to Straight City. And um, yeah, see what's going to happen next. Maybe get our fifth gym badge and try and do that side quest of the King of the Pond. Because, yeah, we've got the, what? We've got Follow the Sun. We've got Waluigi. Help Waluigi cook the ultimate taco. Okay. That fateful day. Plip plop, discover the mysteries of Mikolash Island. Right. Anyway. Make sure I save the game. I'll catch you guys next time. Thank you so much for watching. Have a great day. Oh, peace.